Don't forget to wear your headphones. <sighs> Great. And now I'm with this one trapped. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. These guys. They just want to see me and my reputation burn. <laughs> yeah, that's that must be all they want. Because being here with you, one of the most unpopular people around, is going to ruin my reputation so badly. Not because of something you've done or said or, you know. It's just because you exist in such a low standard compared to mine that, um... You're just going to ruin me, just by osmosis. Just by being there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I could see more of your face details, I would say you're getting a bit angry. Especially because of those sounds that you're making. You are like an animal. <sighs> but that's the law. <laughs> That is the law around here. And there's nothing you or I can do to change it. You know that, right? It's not because I want to that I'm popular. I have to say it's not the worst thing in the world, but... There are things that we just have to comply with. Like... That I'm better than everyone in any other way. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. That look that I think you're having right now, because realistically I can't see anything. It is worth all the trouble. You know that, right? You're pissed. You're angry. You're uh, thinking about something. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Huh? You rat. <laughs> Sorry, too hard for you? Oh, so sad. Well then, you can leave whenever you want. Oh wait, no, you can't. We're trapped. <laughs> Learn your place. Trash. And yes, I am quoting someone. But it's up to you to figure out whom. No. No. Of course, I don't hate you. Why would I hate you? You're too amusing. You're too funny. <laughs> oh. You're gonna try to disarm me. Unarm me. You're gonna try to unmask me? Because deep down, I'm a big softy, right? Wrong. Even though I may not have chosen this destiny, I do enjoy it, as I said. And I will not allow someone like you, a nobody, to take it from me. Not even when we are here. Trapped, the two of us. <laughs> How naive of you to think that this is like the movies. Oh, those kids' movies that teach you that you can be anything, that everyone is a very good person. Well, guess what? Nobody is. You aren't an angel either. You know that, right? Even though you and your kind like to pretend that you are the saving people, the saving traits that you project or try to project are fake. They're not true. The movies were never right. Not all losers like you are good. And not all losers become <laughs> very professional 
hot looking people. You know that, right? Like they like to pretend will happen. No. Why would you say that? I am not hiding my own insecurities by telling you this. Not even if I were. What if I did that? Would you take a rabbit out of your hat and do some magic to make me open up and talk about my feelings? Well, no. I will no do such a thing. Because that is not in me. You know what is in me, though? Preserving my status. And you're ruining my chances. Why? Well, because if I don't keep my status, I'll become like you. <laughs> and I know that deep down, you know, no one wants to be like you. A loser. Somebody that nobody likes. I don't want to be that. I'm going to do anything I can to not become that. Hmm. What do you mean you've already unearthed some deep feelings that I have? Explain yourself. Well, of course I have a reason for acting this way. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be good all of a sudden. Not that you are good. Huh. Well, you can try to do that. You can try to make me change sides and become the white knight this city needs. Or whatever it was. The quote, you know, which movie I'm talking about. <laughs> but fine. Let's do an experiment now that we're here. Try. Let me know what you want to know about me and the way I am and the way I act. I already told you that I act like this because I don't want to end up being like you. Does that make me a worse person or better in your books? What would be a better person? How does that look like even? So sad, so lost. <laughs> pathetic. Very, very pathetic. You don't even know what you're looking for. But I'll play along. I don't want to become like someone that you are. That type of people. Outcast. And unloved. Because I have been that in the past. I have been the quiet kid. I have been the butt of jokes. I trust that you know it's no fun. Well then why do you have to pretend that you don't want to become like me? That you don't want to go out? Come out and stay out of that kind of behavior, action status. That's all it's about, right? Status. That's what changes everything in this cold world. Why do you have to pretend? <laughs> like you don't want the same? <laughs> Because deep down you're just as shallow as I am. Just as desperate. Just as imperfect. And... <sighs> well, shoot. You are right. <laughs> At least in one thing. I am trying to save you here. My 
ends. My goals are not fully selfish. No, I just want you to figure out for yourself what you and how you can become what you want. And I'll tell you my shallow experience. Climb the ladder. I can guide you if you promise to be nice. <laughs> Even though my own status will suffer for a while. Enjoying the trip. Sounds very nice. I would like to see you climb higher and higher until you surpass your expectations. Who doesn't like an underdog story after all? <laughs> Those movies are wrong. Let's see what the real world looks like. Mm -hmm. Shall we break this closet's doors and test the waters? Mm -hmm. It's all up to you, darling. And what do you want to do? I'll be a happy bystander. <laughs> Witnessing your glow. So what do you say? Huh? <laughs>